Racing in the JNWine.com Champion Chase Grade 1 contest over three miles. The first Grade 1 of the Irish National Hunt season, Woodland Opera, takes them along, being followed in second by Sub Lieutenant. Towards the outside is Outlander, and towards the inside is Sandy Mount Duke. Bucket to flow and road to respect the early back pair. They race right over the far side of the track to make their way on towards fence number one, Woodland Opera, towards the inside, towards the outside, just keeping company as Sub Lieutenant. Outlander is close in three, and they're being followed in four by Balco de Flo. As they go to the first, Woodland Woodland Opera, much the quicker through the air, lands with a two to three length advantage. Being followed in second now by Sub Lieutenant. In third, Outlander towards the outside of Balco de Flo. Towards the inside of Sandy Montjuke, road to respect the early back marker. They now disappear from view. Two fences come up pretty quickly together over the far side. And it is Woodland Opera with the advantage. The mount of Robert Power towards the outside, Sub Lieutenant with Brian Cooper aboard. They're being chased in third by last year's winner. That's Outlander Jack Kennedy in the blue cap. Balco de Flo is next. Rachel Blackmore towards the inside as they go towards the next is Sandy Montjuke. And Mark Walsh, last of all, is Road to Respect, the mount of Sean Flanagan. So now they begin to emerge and take the climb, bring him on the run towards the straight first time, towards fences four, five and six. Woodland Opera leads, being chased in second by Sub Lieutenant. And they're being followed in third by Outlander. Last year's winner and 2016 Lexus winner being followed just behind by Balco de Flo. Galway Plate winner of last year, Ryanair Chase winner of this year. Sandy Mount Duke in the colours of Ron Wood is next and Road to Respect is last of all. Second in this contest to Outlander last year and placed in Gold Cups at both Cheltenham and Punchestown. Quality Field head to the top of the hill and make their way towards the first of the three in the straight and again Woodland Opera jumps well from in second Sub-Lieutenant. Then towards the outside is Outlander. Towards the inside is Sandy Mount Duke. Balco de Flo is in between horses and Road to Respect is last of the six. So down they come towards the elbow about to make their way towards the two fences that'll bring them up to past the stands first time and out in front it is Woodland Opera being followed by Sub Lieutenant then towards the outside remains Outlander being followed on the inner by Sandy Montjuke Balco de Flo slight mistake at the back by Road to Respect so now they come on their way towards the fence which will be their last in a circuit's time and it is Woodland Opera who shows the way in the bright blue jacket from in second Sub Lieutenant Outlander Balco de Flo is switched wide Sandy Montjuke goes down the inside all but tracking its stable companion and last of all is Road to Respect so they make their way up now to pass the post and swing right-handed on their way towards fences seven and eight. And it is Woodland Opera who leads sub-lieutenant by just under a length. And third is Balco de Flo, who's improved. They're being followed in fourth towards the inside by Outlander. Inside this again is Sandy Montjuke. And just behind them, but very much in touch, remains Road to Respect. The first of the two fences bringing them away now from the stands. Woodland Opera goes on towards the first of the ditches now. Sub-lieutenant Balco de Flo wide. Outlander switched to the centre towards the inside is Sandy Mount Duke and Road to Respect remains last of all. So now they go on the run that's going to bring them into the bend which will turn them along the back straight towards fences 9, 10 and 11 and Woodland Opera just stacking them up behind a little. They're bunching just behind this leader. Woodland Opera has the advantage from Sub-Lieutenant Outlander Balco de Flo and Sandy Mount Duke. Four of them almost disputing the two, three, four, five spots but last of all and just a length further back is Road to Respect. So now they turn into the back straight and make their way towards the first of the fences along there. And it is Road Woodland Opera who leads from in second spot, Sandy Mount Duke, Outlander, Sub Lieutenant, and just behind them, Balco de Flo and Road to Respect, another length further back. So now they continue across the far side. When they rise to the next, they'll have a circuit completed. And Woodland Opera has led for much of the journey with towards the outside, Sub Lieutenant, Outlander, and Balco de Flo keep company. Sandy Mount Duke just drops back a position, and last of all, but beginning to pick up now on the outside and improve a position, as I say it, is Road to Respect. So they continue right over the far side. Woodland Opera, Balco de Flo, the outside of Outlander, in between them, Sub Lieutenant. Road to Respect and Sandy Montjuke, the back pair, as they go now on the approach towards the next. And Sub Lieutenant, who has crossed form with Outlander and Sandy Montjuke in recent times. But again, Woodland Opera quick through the air, as was on the outside Balco de Flo. Sub Lieutenant lost a length and just nudged along to hold position. Road to Respect takes closer order. Outlander is next and Sandy Montjuke is last of all. They race behind now towards the two fences out of clear view and it is Woodland Opera with Balco de Flo on the outside. Road to Respect coming right up there too. And Sandy Montjuke's our first casualty. Sandy Montjuke crosses out. There's a slight mistake by Outlander. There's reminders for Sub Lieutenant as they go to the second one behind the clubhouse and it is Woodland Opera who organizes himself, jumps it well. Road to Respect has gone right up into second now. Balco de Flo is third. Reminders for Sub Lieutenant still and Outlander's right there still on the inside. So Woodland Opera is leading a sea of maroon and white as they re-emerge and make their way on the run up towards the top of the track. 
Still holding the advantage, bidding for the four-timer Woodland Opera. Road to Respect, bidding to go one better than last year, being followed by Sub-Lieutenant Balco de Flo and Outlander 345. Heading now towards the top end and on towards three from home in the 20th running of the JNWine.com champion chase. And out in front, it's Woodland Opera. Road to Respect still travels strongly in second. Right behind them in third, Outlander. Balco de Flo's dropped off them three from home. And on the near side, taking over is Road to Respect. Woodland Opera's asked for effort now. Back in third is Outlander. They've gone away from Balco de Flo and Sub-Lieutenant. Down the hill they come, making their way towards the elbow with two to jump. And it's Sean Flanagan who's gone to the front now with Road to Respect. Woodland Opera's trying to rally back in second, but Road to Respect goes well at this point. Heading towards the second last now. Road to Respect comes to it. Organises well over from Woodland Opera. Outlander's back in third. They're clear and they make their way on towards the final fence. And Road to Respect is stretching further and further clear. His only danger is ahead of him. It is Road to Respect who has the advantage. And by a wide margin too, coming to it now. Road to Respect has plenty of time to organise it and does it well. And as they head up towards the line in the 20th running of the JNWine.com chase, it's a seventh success for Jiggenstown. It's six on the row and it is Road to Respect going one better than he did last year. Sean Flanagan, Jiggenstown House and Noel Mead take the JNWine.com chase with Road to Respect. Brave effort from Woodland Opera in second. Last year's winner, Outland.